Hey everybody, welcome to LettermanRow.com. I am Jeremy Birmingham. This is Bermanology from South Lake Carroll High School in South Lake, Texas, the home of Ohio State commitment Quinn Ewers, but also of Landon Sampson, a 2022 wide receiver uh, who Ohio State has been beginning to reach out to in the last couple of weeks. And uh, Landon, you, you've caught the attention of a program like Ohio State. How do you think your recruitment is about to change as you head into June? Uh, that's that would be a really big deal, um, especially with that receiver room. Uh, if you just look at the receiver room, it is filled with five and four stars. There's a reason for that. Um, and that would kind of just put me on the map is, hey, this is one of the best kids in the nation. Um, and I think that would really prove it. Do, I mean, I'm just going to do you think you're one of the best receivers in the country? Yes, sir. Why? I think I sell yourself. This is your moment. Yes, Any sir. other coaches? <laughs> I think I bring a ton of speed to the table. I'm really shifty and I have a really high football IQ. Um, not to brag on myself. That's okay, I, just... I want you to brag on yourself. You also have a 40 inch vertical leap from what I've yes, heard. Yes sir, 40 plus. <laughs> Where does that athleticism come from? For a lot of our readers, a lot of our watchers, your name is not something anyone knows. Yes, so sir. tell them, I mean, who, who is Landon Sampson? Where do you come from? Where's the athletic gene come from? How many offers you got? Who, who is really the first school that, that, caught, that you caught the attention of? Uh, so my first offer was from UTSA, and then right after that was SMU, and that's when it really took off. Uh, they just started piling in, and I got to meet a really bunch of really cool coaches. Um, I really get my athleticism from my parents. Like my dad, he uh, used to go ball out against a bunch of pro basketball players yeah. in LA, and uh, so he used to go play down at Laguna Beach, yeah. uh, and so I kind of learned how to like raise my vertical early, go up, and kind of just sky for everything. Yeah. What, what type of receiver do you, I mean, I, I watching you out here, you, you were, had the ability to play inside and outside. Where do you see yourself most comfortable? Uh, I, don't, I don't really fit anywhere. I feel like I could just move all over the field and be used uh, at any position really, uh, inside, outside, wherever I'm really needed. You told me prior to starting this interview that you had heard from Brian Hartline on Monday afternoon. What was the call with Coach Hartline like? Was that the first call with him? And if so, what is the, what's the conversation? Uh, yes, sir. So he called me last week and uh, he's telling me how he loved me, how he wants me uh, to come to his room, be one of those guys. Uh, he, re he really likes everything I do. And uh, that really uh, meant a lot to me coming from him. Uh, and so I just got off the phone with him this morning to plan uh, a visit to go up there with Quinn. So Quinn Ewers, again, for folks watching or listening, you probably have heard of him. He's uh, a quarterback. He's Landon Sampson's quarterback. I think that's how most people describe him, right? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> He's Quinn Ewers, Landon Sampson's quarterback. Quinn is making an official visit to Ohio State the weekend of June 4th through 6th, and he's turning around and going back to Columbus with you the following week. Where else do you have on the docket for June? Uh, right now, I'm just planned for Nebraska the 4th through 6th, uh, so just the first weekend in, in June. Will that be an official visit? Yes, sir. How many offers are you up to now? Uh, I think 20 or 19, um, somewhere around there. Let's say something crazy happens and you go to Ohio State on June 11th and you camp and you get an Ohio State scholarship offer. Aside from the fact that, as you said, it, it's obviously a, a game changing opportunity for any player in the country. But for a receiver right now, there's few rooms anywhere that are that stacked, that are that loaded. How do you think that it changes the course of what you do for the next few months? I mean, is it a situation where I still have to see all these other schools. I haven't been anywhere. I haven't been able to go anywhere. What is the, I guess, read, predict the future. Uh, what so happens? Coach Hartline told me that if he were to offer me, he'd want me to come back during the fall. And so I'd plan on doing that, first of all. And, uh, and so that would kind of just like skyrocket. I'd probably meet a whole lot of new coaches, especially yeah. coming from that, uh, if I picked up that offer. What is something about you that people should know? I mean, aside from the fact that you know, the 40 inch vertical, the athleticism. I mean, are you a track guy? Do you run? What's the 40 time? I'm just trying to sell these people watching and listening who are like, who is this guy? <laughs> you know, what, what, what do they need to know about you? Uh, yes, sir. So I'm a track, I run track, I play football. Uh, I have a 4 4 0 40. I'm probably going to break 4 3 this summer. Uh, I was hurt last time I ran. Otherwise, I probably would have ran it. Uh, I'm a uh, mid 10 100, and I ran a 21 7 in the 200. So you're pretty athletic. Yes, sir. That's where, that's where we're getting <laughs> down to. Well, I don't want to 
pick too much of your brain here, Landon. So I'm gonna let you get out of here on that note. This is Vermonology on Letterman Row. I'm Jeremy Birmingham. This is Landon Sampson. He's a name you might want to know about if you're an Ohio State recruiting fan. If you wanna know anything else about Ohio State football, go back to lettermanrow.com and check us out there. Thanks for watching.